Okay. All right, I'm back, guys. So, hi. Oh, let me let me broadcast it on Twitter. So everybody can come in because we have some things to discuss and some labs to complete and let's see three things I said I was gonna do tonight. I think I said I was gonna show everybody um, how to download a Windows virtual machine as you guys can see that I've done here. Thank you, Nux on Twitter. His name is It's Nux. Yeah, It's Nux on Twitter. He helped me get this installed. Complete Daryl Gibson's lab. So, so hiding files with segonography. And then I want to see if I can complete this troublemaker right here so that's what we're doing tonight oh and while I do this I'm going to do a a face mask a been tonight face mask I'm like major multitasking tonight because my face is a hot mess so what should I do first should I do like a windows should I do the Windows VM? Show people how to do that in VMware Fusion, which I love, by the way. I love VMware Fusion so far. Or should I just hop into the labs? Let me know. Let's go for the labs. Okay, I actually go with the VM folks might need that. Don't ask me. I've installed VMs a hundred times. <laughs> It could be complicated, especially for folks who've never done it. Yeah, I wanted to do it for people who've never done it because I'm eventually going to be, um, I'm eventually going to be editing all of these and then putting them on my YouTube channel. So I know people that when we do the Daryl Gibson lab, they're probably not going to know, like, especially... Now, if they have a Windows machine, they may be able to do it, but um, I don't have a Windows machine, so I needed to get one, which I'm so happy that I have now, because I think many of these labs are done on a Windows machine. I'm going to do this stuff. So I think I'm going to do the Windows VM, and we're going to start off with that. It's not too... Um, it's not too long to do, so it is gonna be a quick little tutorial on how to do it. And then we're gonna hop into the labs because I'm excited to hide files with steganography. Okay, so this is the Windows 7 disk image ISO file page. I'll post it. I can't actually post it. I'll post it in here. Steganography is really fucking cool. And when I, oh my god, I love steganography so much. When I found out I could hide stuff in images, messages and images, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? And then like when I cracked my first steg challenge at a CTF. The adrenaline, the adrenaline rush that I got was crazy. I just wanted to do it all day. You're going to need a Windows 7 ISO. If you're new to VMs, you're going to need a Windows 7 machine for the, most of these labs, I think, which I have here. Zach, I'm really, I can't wait to start doing hacking challenges, like, so bad on here. So, I'm just going to mix this really quick. You're having science, ooh, science and security in one sitting. I'm just mixing it. It's like a clay. You guys get self-care and security in one 
sitting. Nobody else can do this. Wait, can I do this without a product key? Can you download it without a product key? Do I need a product key to download it? If so, guys, you're screwed. For Windows 7, I don't think so. But where this product requires a valid product activation key. It looks like you do. Oh. So it looks like they're only going to be able to do the Windows 10 for free. See, here you can do it for free. Like they have the Windows 10 and then like it's, you could download it. And then 64 bit download, but that's going to be too, be a hefty download. Yeah, see that downloaded. Now, why can't I download Windows 7? You can download Windows 10, but it looks like you need a Windows key. Would it be illegal? You know what? I can't give out my Windows key, guys. You're going to have to get a Windows key. <laughs> okay, look. We're going to hint. You need a Windows key. Moving on. All right, so that's over, that's out. Just find a Windows 7 key and you'll be able to get the, but you need a Windows 7 ISO, okay? Read between what I'm saying. You need a Windows 7 ISO, okay? I hope with the key. All right. So basically what you would do is, after you get your Windows 7 ISO, it's gonna download in your download folder. And it's gonna be like kind of how I set up, if you guys see my blog, with the how I install Kali Linux. I think I can, can I do it without, uh, do, 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 do. Let's just do shut down. Yeah. So virtual machine, you're going to go to your virtual machine library. Just skip the download. See, Zach, sir, I'm going to, I'm going to DM you really quick. I'm going to DM you because we cannot share keys publicly, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we cannot share keys. Can't show you guys why or how to do it, but basically what you would do is you would come in and press new and install from disk or image that will open and then like you would just um, find it in your downloads and do that and, and, and just install it and I chose um, I chose what was it Windows 7 Home Basic, I think. Yeah. And we're just going to start it up. So we're going to start the lab. I'm going to look like a crazy person on live. But you know what? Self-care is the best care. And it comes first. Should I just do my whole face? in guys all right so let's hop into this lab while i do this face mask
So it says this exercise complements material in the CompTIA Security Plus. Da -da -da -da. You can use this a part of a use case to support ops use obfuscation. It's always hard to say that word. What does obfuscation mean again? Isn't that like hiding information? I just got another YouTube subscriber. Hiding stuff. Yes. So obfuscation, obs, obfuscation is hiding stuff. Short way, which is basically what we're going to be doing in this lab. Here's a simple method of using steganography by embedding a text file into an image. Requirements. This exercise assume you're running a Windows system like we have here. Yeah, it's very, it's, it varies ways to hide stuff. Ugly code is also a form. Oh, can malware be obfuscation? You know how like they have malware where it's like it's hard to read they make it hard to read so they can't crack it oh see i knew it yeah i learned about that and i was like oh that's pretty cool okay so malware that's hard to read is also obfuscation ugly code all right and know how to access the command line. You'll need to copy a copy of Win, WinRAR, which is available as a free do download. All right, so now we have to get WinRAR. I should probably make this uh, Windows tool pretty and go get Chrome, because who the heck is using IE? Not me. Fake functions, ugly comments, lines of code that does nothing. Okay, makes sense. So we all know what obfuscation is after tonight. Oh, um, should I do the 64 bit? Yeah. Sixty-four bit, yeah. I'm doing sixty-four bit. I'm always scared to use thirty-two. I don't know why. I feel like it's it doesn't have all the functions. We're just gonna do sixty-four for right now, huh? The server return and invalid. Okay. Okay, I guess we're doing thirty-two. We're doing 32. Do I need all of this? Can you guys see that? What is all of this? Do I need any of that? And open and compress. I think that's more than enough than what, to what we need. So I'm gonna just press okay. Okay. Just press OK. And while we do that, I'm getting Google Chrome. Because IE is ugly. Um, and it's done. You installed the 32-bit WinWAR version of 64-bit Windows. You can get Better performance and re reliability by uninstalling 32-bit. Well, you didn't let me do that, so here we are. If necessary, download it on your system. You'll also need a JPEG picture file from any digital camera or smartphone. Now, do I really need a digital? Can I just go on Google and find a picture? What picture should I get? You guys, give me a picture. There's nine people in here. Don't be afraid to talk. And we're all nice. I know I look crazy because I'm painting my face with a mask, but it's okay. Share what picture you think. Thanks. <laughs> you 
because how I look like a lizard. <laughs> All right, we're going to Google and we're gonna find a picture. So we're gonna do a, let's do this. Let's find a picture of my mask. So Aztec clay mask. Look for a pic of a peregrine falcon. Okay, we'll go with that. You kinda did it last minute. But we'll do it. Peregrine Falcon. Peregrine Falcon mask. Is this what I look like? Is that, are you trying to be shady? <laughs> are you trying to be shady right now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, you talk about the animal. <laughs> he is. He's trying to say I look like a crazy, like a bird. Let's do this one. The fastest animal on earth. Oh, I didn't know that. 